Hello science people, scientists are fighting with a multi-million dollar company called BioRender. In their recent investment rounds, they rose over $70 million. That means their company value is most likely multi-million dollars. On Twitter X, angry scientists are threatening to quit using this software. The main problem scientists have with BioRender is the copyright ownership of the figures. Some scientists have screenshot the terms of use of BioRender, which stated that the copyright of the figures belongs to BioRender. The volume of the negative tweets have caught the attention of the CEO of BioRender. She has also hopped on Twitter to defend her company and she's probably having a lot of meetings with her legal team at the moment. This drama is equivalent to a nuclear bomb in the scientific illustration industry. You guys know that I've not talked about BioRender for years even though you guys have been asking me about it because I don't like to talk about brands that I don't personally use. I use other Illustrator and open source software like Inkscape. This is exactly why I would recommend you to check out those video and learn the software so you can avoid getting caught up in these type of situations. But anyways, BioRender is an online app. As you can see, this is their view. I blur some part out because I don't know about the copyright claim of this software. There are heated discussion about it on Twitter. This software is the dominant app in the prestige university in the Western countries for making graphical abstracts. They provide templates for biomedical figures. The trial version is free, but you get watermark across your figure. If you want to use the figure in a published paper, you must purchase the license. The price ranges from $39 to $129. It is more expensive than Adobe Illustrator. In most cases I've seen so far, only the wealthy labs can afford the subscription. This drama doesn't really affect my viewers because you guys have been following my tutorials to learn how to draw these figures by yourself. And you can support my channel by giving me likes, subscribe, and follow my social media. This can help me to grow my channel and the revenue from the channel can support me keep on doing this for for the scientists. In the meantime, I will give you a chronicle summary of how the whole drama transpired. The situation started really innocently. This professor, Michael, tweeted about a student who made really good figures for their recently published paper. The figures were so good, the editor thought these were made by a professional. So the editor returned the figures and said, unless we have a license, permission to use these figures. Otherwise, we are not able to publish. After clarification, they found out, oh, actually the student made the figure, ha ha ha, the paper was published and everybody was really proud. And I'm really happy to see this because I've been on YouTube teaching scientists to draw professional figures. This is a great example of what you guys can achieve. And someone have a question, quote, that's awesome, but if you had used a paid graphic design service, I don't get why you'd have to cite them, end quote. It's a very innocent question. So Michael replied, quote, they want to make sure we have the rights for the graphics. Then he brought up about BioRender, for example, makes naming them in a caption and having a license a requirement of use in print, end quote. BioRender has entered the chat. Another scientist was in shock to learn that the world Wow, she had no idea. It's definitely too much. Also, nobody deserves to acknowledge every single figure legend for it, especially if you are paying for it, end quote. Then Michael shared a terms of the academic license of BioRender. In item six, quote, the ownership of intellectual property in deviative works. If you agree that BioRender shall be deemed to own the copyrights in any modifications of BioRender content appearing in completed graphics prepared by you, and any such BioRender content created by you is a work made for hire for BioRender under the US Copyright Act, end quote. This is the part that sent a shockwave on Twitter. Work made for hire implies the users are creating content for the company. Many scientists on Twitter found out about this. Angry replies started flooding in to the reply section of the tweet, including this one by Will Radcliffe. Quote, time to ditch BioRender. I had no idea they were claiming copyright to the figures we make with it, even after we pay for use of the service. End quote. 
The tweet went viral and got over 300,000 views. Here's another tweet by Fernando Aguero. Quote, don't use BioRender. Do not let abusive practices spread. There is an alternative. Use Simon Dior's open bio icon. And this tweet has over 120,000 views, over 1.2 thousand likes. Simon Dior has been developing this library of, of open access scientific figures for scientists. I have introduced his library a few times in my videos. You can go check it out. And he had some insider information. He had email these questions to the CEO of BioRender last year. However, he never got a reply from her. Until now, the tweets have gone viral. The CEO finally replied to Simone that she was on a maternal leave. She's right now going through all the emails slowly. What a mess! If you want to avoid all these, just follow my tutorials, learn about open access software and resources, then you'll be fine. Again, link in the description. CEO of BioRender, Ms. Aoki, replied that they are revising their language and the terms of use they will try to fix it will it be a different way of phrasing the word but the copyright ownership is still the same allegedly nobody knows for sure anymore in this tweet miss aoki clarified that bow render does not claim the copyright of the figures their user created but they do own the copyright of the individual components not sure how that works do i own the figure it sounds like I don't need permission from BioRender to use the figure in that case, right? It's very confusing. I hope they will come up with the update to clarify where the boundary is. Ms. Aoki is only one of the board members. On the online data, they have three board members. Even if Ms. Aoki has the best intention of serving the scientific community, she still need all the board members to be on board. I'm quite surprised they only have three board members uh, given that they have some investors. So none of the investors ask for a board seat and two of the investors are venture capitals. They are more money focused. I'm just assuming that in a venture capital perspective, it is better to own as many assets as possible. All the figures created by the users are very valuable assets for the company. When they're exiting the company in the future, these can increase their company value. Exit means when a startup company is acquired by a larger corporation. This is a very likely future of BioRender. I think they are taking a very similar plan like ChemDraw, which is a chemical structure graphic software. And ChemDraw was acquired by a larger corporation called Hurricane Elmer in 2011. When a larger corporation want to acquire BioRender, they would evaluate all the assets they have. BioRender is able to show their prospect they have all these figures created by their users throughout the years this can increase their company evaluation so they can negotiate for a higher purchase price from their prospect allegedly this is all in my imagination don't take it too seriously because if you think about it when these scientists use bow render to make their figures the figures they make represent their scientific discovery and these discoveries were not even published yet bow render can have a lot of the data from from the scientists. This will be a unique position BioRender is in. I'm not sure if they're like a typical tech company who also package their data as one of the products. You know, Facebook will sell your data to the advertisers. The data BioRender collected can be very valuable for some organization. For example, the funding bodies of scientific research and the scientific publishing industry for sure. There are a lot of things that they need to clarify. I can totally see why scientists felt che being cheated in a way because normally you will not expect software company owns the content you created in the app. As this tweet says, quote, everything made using one Microsoft products belongs to Microsoft. Also, it's ridiculous to pay a subscription for something that should be a one pay product worth maybe $100 end quote. So even if the CEO says that they don't claim the copyright of the figures, but does that mean they don't claim it for now? Can they copyright strike authors whenever they want? Like a YouTube channel can get copyright strike from the copyright owners. This is a common way for copyright owners to attack content creators. So does BioRender have this power over the authors who use their platform? I really don't know. Even though a lot of scientists have expressed their concern about copyrights, 
There are also scientists who don't really mind not having copyrights of the image created with BioRender. I think it is really a choice of the users whether they want to agree on these terms. They can pick the software that suits their value the best. If you don't mind not owning the copyright, then BioRender can be a good choice. And if you want to own the copyright, the best option is to hire a scientific illustrator, let them transfer the copyright to you, or make these figures by yourself by following my tutorials and come to my live stream whenever you have a question. I live stream on Wednesdays to help scientists with their figures. My next video will be where you can find free scientific illustration on the internet with Creative Commons license. I'll see you in the next video.